what I have noticed though, I have been going to um, the gym more uh, lately because like with COVID and everything, I haven't been going to the gym. So I started, I finally got a new uh, gym membership and it was like the first time I've gone to a gym in over like two years. And I'm realizing that I was missing out on a lot of things, like a lot of benefits of some of the workouts that yeah, yeah. I could only do there. Cause it was like my, I feel like my posture has gotten better. I'm like less slouchy. Uh, my, you think that's from muscle or just from like the constant repetition of doing certain movements? I, I feel like part of it is like back strengthening, muscle. like because your core is so vital. Like I never understood how vital your core is until like you start to like go for runs and stuff and you don't really work it out that much. When you start to work it out, your whole like sense of mobility feels way so different. much better. Yeah. <laughs> I never experienced so I'd take your word for it. My core has been uh, bad. It's been a forever, sauce. forever shitty. <laughs> I really do need to change it, but it because I haven't worked on it so much, whatever workout I do for it feels so baby. No, like, I'm like, <laughs> like what you have to like the leg raises or whatever yeah that's what that'd be cool right yeah yeah like just like the you can do alternating yeah. lifts of your legs or just like both coming up and down without like ever I'm trying to do like punches and shit and I'm like, um, man this is not a thing i, <laughs> I, I but, but i guess incremental growth right? yeah like start small and then you build up just like these podcasts What's up, guys? Welcome to episode four of the Oddcast Segway, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) It's a podcast. Today, we are talking about Dune because that movie just came out. And we got some thoughts. We got some thoughts about it. But also, we want to talk about some of our favorite or least favorite movie adaptations. So, um, like, what I mean by that, like, books to movies, comics to movies, and I games, wanted to add movies, video games to movies yeah, because there's a big one that's coming out. Uh, like the so, Resident Evil or something? No. Well, uh, Uncharted. Oh, really? Yeah, they're making an Uncharted movie. I have a lot to say about this one. Okay. But as far as the topic is, though, right now, what did you think about Doom? I I dug it for what it was. Like, as a person who has no prior information about the series, it was a, it was a fun watch. It was a spectacle for sure. The effects of oh, it yeah. were A1. They were so A1. well done. Yeah. And the sound, too. The sound. Too. They were so the like bows surrounding. I just yeah. got a regular old TV. <laughs> but even with that one, it had a nice like definition to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it all around, it looked good. The story, I couldn't follow that much, but I get the sense that there's a lot to the story mm-hmm. and they couldn't get it all in. This even if though it was what two hours, two thirty years, like two like and a half. I feel like we got a fraction of what this thing is going to be. Because I don't it, think there's just going to be. Two how long is it a part two? Did they say? No, they, there's no saying on if there will be a part two. So this may just is come it out. part one on the yeah, the but part two depends on how well part one does. That's dumb. Isn't that stupid? They shouldn't even put part one on there then. It just should be called Dune. Yeah, and then Dune part two if that happens. <laughs> but sorry for but they ain't, no, but no, you're right. But it uh, yeah, it basically said to be continued then. Yeah, if pretty much to be continued. If same. they never do it, this is supposed to be like uh, WB's like new space opera to compete against like the likes of Star Wars and things like that. Because WB doesn't have their own. Oh, this is Warner Brothers. Brothers? And, yeah, this is Warner Brothers. So, um, I my history with Dune is I heard about this movie coming out, like how big it was supposed to be, yeah. maybe about a year or so ago. And I started looking into it. I downloaded like a couple of the audio books and then I was listening to some of it, but I, I was like, I, I I was doing things at the same time. So I didn't like get too much into it. And then as the movie was getting closer, I was like, I don't know what, what I should be expecting. I just yeah. know this is supposed to be like a really cool sci-fi thing. So I read like a little synopsis like a little of what Dune is yeah. about and then learned a lot of things. This thing, uh, the book came out in like 1965. For sure. And apparently it was like one of the driving influences of like what created Star Wars. Yeah. Like the some, some genre, ideas that yeah. George Lucas got because they were like on a uh, a desert planet. It's super hot. Mm. And then the main character is There's like, even like a threat, like the uh, 
the sarlacc pit or whatever the pit yeah, is. It's yeah. just the worms. It's exactly. Yeah. So apparently George Lucas got a lot of influence from it. So I, I, w- I was really hyped to check it out. And then as I was watching it, I was like, this is Game of Thrones in space. It's a lot. There's yeah. a lot of houses, a lot of people with like political what is a political intrigue and it, and it's like everybody's like buying it's for a like very positions. fleshed out universe like yeah. like it seems like the, especially with all the the different races and names you have to keep in your so brain much, i'm gonna have to watch it good thing it's on hbo Max yeah exactly. because i can watch it over and over and like pick apart every little piece yeah. of shit like when i first heard about this shit uh well it was the, the series as a whole uh there was this youtube channel uh, comic book girl 19 mm-hmm. and she was obsessed with the Doom series mm-hmm. so she would do like book clubs and buy that stuff I never invested in a book club <laughs> but I got pieces and pieces of it you know just from yeah. watching it whatever so I was curious for a while and I, I know of like the there was an original movie in like the 80s I think 80s, yeah yeah 70s and even like for the time it was uh, the visual effects were like, like kind of a like, yeah, yeah. So I was always like curious, but never like, especially when I saw the book, it was this <laughs> yeah. big. And I was like, all right, one of these days I'll get to it. Mm-hmm. So when the movie came around, I'm like, ah, finally, it's it is one black one to give it a look. But I'm always, you know me, I'm always nervous when there's an adaptation, there's an of, an adaptation of it. Yeah, with good reason. Yes, yeah. they're not all done well. They're not <laughs> all done well. But this one, I don't know the source material, but just as a movie, a raw movie. Mm-hmm. Good time. I think they did a really good job, and I think part of the reason why it felt like a fraction of a thing is because, like, from not knowing what the book is, it's like they did it justice. Like, from what I've been seeing, people who are have been like more into the series than I have been, they've been really happy. Okay, that's yeah. So it's just as long like, as the core fan base appreciates it, then yeah. that means that it's going in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Like I've been seeing like good like like uh, fan reviews and um, places like uh, IGN. Okay. Uh, like, like a lot of people have been like pretty IGN. positive about the movie. Yeah, I know. IGN is weird now. Man, yeah, <laughs> you know, completely out to them or whatever, but yeah. Man, it is not. I'm a kind of funny guy now. Follow Greg Miller away from IGN. <laughs> Greg Miller was the <laughs> power. Yeah. He was like the power pack in that building. I know, I know. But yeah, he brought the personality. But yeah, it was just like. um it seems like people are happy with it. People are happy that they took the time to like flesh out the world instead of rushing it like they do yeah, other yeah. things. One of my um, trying to cram a tome of a book into like an yeah, hour and a half. Book and book. I always hate it when they try to do too much in too little time, and it, it always makes the movie weaker for that. For like, sure. Another one of my favorites, um, like an adaptation, was uh, Lita Battle Angel. I love what they did with that because if you're watching the movie, different things happen because you could tell it's kind of exploring through the different yeah, yeah. volumes of the book and then it stops. And then it was another one of those movies where it was like, if it did well, they were going to get a sequel. But um, I don't know if it did well. I, I, I love that. I it still, was a I watch movie, it but yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and on the reverse side of that, Ender's Game. You remember Ender's yeah. Game? Did you ever read the books? No, no. The books are that's what uh, I heard. I think like, you were telling me yeah, about it's that. Yeah, it's a good fucking book. Too. And they do the adaptation, and they 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 take out all of like the subtle cool shit, like the weird political play that twelve year old kids are doing, uh-huh. and they just keep the big set pieces of fighting in space, fucking laser beams and uh-huh. shit, like which is cool, <laughs> but it's like the reason why it works is all of it, like. That you gotta paint the whole story. Mm-hmm. If you take a piece of the paint, it's just a hole in it. Exactly. And then sometimes they glance over things that, like fans who have been reading it, it's like some fans probably focus on this one aspect. So you get there and you're like, what's going on? Like, what exactly? You're waiting to see that in real life. <laughs> so it, when you when you miss out on those things, it's like you're not gonna make anybody like you're not gonna make everybody happy. It's, and it yeah. just. I know in the end it turns into like a thing with the studios or like you gotta get yeah. this done for hey. this amount of money and this amount of time. When money's involved, yeah. <laughs> it, it can really mess with the product, but you need it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, um, how did you feel about the acting? Then? I thought the acting was fine. It felt, it felt a little forced to me. 
Uh, well, some yeah. like uh, well, I guess at this point it's spoilers, right? Or do we do we not detail these? Spoiler things? alert! If you want to see the movie and you haven't. Better go check it out on an HBO Max because it's so easy to access. Yeah, like you don't even right, have to yeah. go to a movie theater. Like For check sure. it out. It's just like well, a ten dollar thing. <laughs> I guess this isn't a spoiler that much, but just in case. But yeah, the character, like the leader of the, like the Sand Tribe people, mm. his acting to me was up there. It was doing his thing, but the main character and like. Mm. Batista. I'm like, <laughs> all right, bet. I feel like he As, Batista. I feel like he was having fun with it. You got to think he came from Drax. He basically was being yeah. like a meaner Drax. <laughs> yeah, pretty one. much. So I, I feel like he was bringing some of that into here, but his like his vibe and personality didn't really like go, go. with the overarching like like. And feeling like, the movie was giving me, but I, I thought it was. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. enough to ruin it for me, but it was enough for me. Like it take you takes me out for a yeah, second. Yeah, you're like, like this yeah, is fake. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the main character, for some reason, in my head, he looks like whatever character Ma- uh, Draco Malfoy is. It, like <laughs> like the guy that's gonna do like some sneaky double yeah. cross. So and I'm like the whole time I'm watching it, he's supposed to be the main character. I'm like he's gonna you do something like sneaky. Evil. I don't know what it is. I get that too. He's As like, I was watching it, I was like, it could still be it. He looks we like young know. Loki. Exactly. Maybe Zen Zen what is it? Zendaya or Zendaya? Yeah. I've heard it both ways. And I don't know which one is right. I'm Free gonna say yeah. Zendaya. Yeah, Zendaya works for me. <laughs> I'm gonna say Zendaya. I think Mad she, maybe there. she's supposed to be. These are all speculations. Yeah, for sure right now. I think it's gonna be some weird thing like Kylo Ren and Rey, where mm. one was good and then starts to turn evil because he kept going into those flashes where he turned what he looked like like he was a killer. Yeah, yeah. So then I but like I, this could be a possible future. Yes, yeah. yeah. But I wasn't sure even in those flashes was he defending his people or just murdering people. I couldn't. That's say. the thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Like we don't. We don't know. But we did know that he became more ruthless for yeah. sure. So then it could be one of those things where it's like um, at the end of the uh, at the end of the movie. Another spoiler thing. Um, when it came down to him having to kill that That's guy, like, to I was talking about mom. that. Yeah. It made me so bad. <laughs> that guy's stupid. <laughs> He's so annoying to me. He was. We was <laughs> the sun's coming up. We're gonna die because the sun makes all the water in your body leave. Uh, and we gotta go. And you're like, no, I'm gonna fight this kid for no reason. Apparently, I didn't really capture what His the problem or was. I think that he was afraid of the mom and the kid taking up all their water. Because I remember, mm, interesting. So because they were trying to steal their water at first. Oh, they were? Yeah, if you look, he, he was like, they pop up on him, and it was like, give me your water suit, or whatever. Oh, so, so that's that's when they first, like, uh, uh, like when they first came on yeah, the when scene, they, when like, they were... Just start like, popping up on his yeah, yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it was like, I from what I understood, I don't know, there were a lot, like, I, again, I need to watch it again. From what I understood, it seemed like he was mad because he thought that they were going to take like take all their water yeah. and then somebody said something about the kid but then he was like it was pretty much like well the kid has value but we don't need the mom yeah we so wanted to kill the mom and then the kid was her champion because like she's not i i don't know why she wasn't going to use her powers the whole time i was like why doesn't she just use her i was curious like, I, I, I don't them. know if the like yeah. what are they called the the sand tribe it's sort with an f or something right the free Freeman, I think Theorian it's Freeman. or Freeman or something. Yeah. Like that. But yeah, you're gonna be so upset when you get to come out. But it's okay because we are new watchers. Yeah, but, uh, we're just exploring this because it was a cool movie. But yeah, <laughs> I was think only thing I can think of is that they have a immunity to it because mm. the powers. I was looking up the how the lady works too. So the the clan that she comes from is a clan of witches that take the spice. And it gives so them like, like put it in their bodies so they like, to yeah, empower them. Yeah, and it gives them like they use it to like <clears throat> maneuver politically. So then you know it lets you like see the Yeah, people. so that's what um So I was thinking like maybe the people who are so hopped up on it, uh 
Because you know that's why they got blue eyes and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe they just like, it doesn't it work doesn't on work me. Back yeah. Back. Ooh. That's a good idea. They're like the uh, Mandalorians of the Star Wars universe. Does the Force not work on the Mandalorians? The Force don't, doesn't work on their uh, armor. Mandalorian armor. Mm. So they're, they're unaffected by it. Yeah. <laughs> also, Mandalorian um, steel. Like, uh, I forget what it was called. Like, the specific name. But it can also, like, fight against a lightsaber without it being... Okay, now, I know we're on the topic of... Yeah. I guess... Like, since you said it's influence, it's kind of yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it. so the the force brain control thing mm-hmm. is not just them like using like hockey from uh, hockey from a uh, one <laughs> It's not like enforcing a will. It's a ray out their mouth. No. Like they shoot like something. Kind in- of. So what they're they can still doing, hear. They can still hear. What's happening is they're reaching into their mind. Like the oh, it's like Magneto's helmet of their body, yeah. Okay. So then it goes inside of their mind, and then they can uh, sort of like see visions of sort of, or get like a feeling of what they're thinking, and then instill feelings Mm -hmm. and like their actions. So the Mandalorian armor is pretty much like you said about Magneto. It's their way of protecting them against like all the vibrations. I thought it was just like. Like a psychic blast, so it's like, <laughs> it's nothing you can do. You have a hat on. No, 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 no. It's like vibrations in the world. Okay. Like the force is like the force is a living thing. Like it's it's yeah. everywhere. But Mandalorian armor just like <laughs> reflects. <laughs> <it again. laughs> That's hilarious. But going back to yeah. uh, to do and what you were saying is like one thing that I thought was uh, really cool was um, something that I never would have found until I read that little. Synopsis, like giving you an idea what the story is about, like before I saw the movie and whatnot. It was like uh, that race of um, witches, they wanted to create a really powerful version of them. So over the years, they have been like uh, sending women out and breeding and making them more stronger. Yeah. And then this kid, he was supposed to be like the strongest one of them. Like generations of them doing this was supposed to create like the best version of them and then it ended up being a boy yeah so it's supposed to they were hoping for a girl. yeah it's supposed to be all girls yeah. right mm-hmm. that's and why they did that test at the, at the beginning with the hand yeah yeah so it was just like a way to make sure that he's not going to like go, well, go nuts girl, with yeah it. yeah <laughs> i thought that was really cool it's interesting yeah i wish they again. explained that a little bit more like in the, in the boys actual. are mad mean and angry <laughs> especially growing up a lot of emotions there. <laughs> but overall, I thought they did a really good job. Uh, the watch. movie looked like, as you said, the visuals looked spectacular. Crazy. The acting could have used a little bit of help, but I still thought it was like, like it was solid yeah. performance. There were yeah. good actors in there. Mm-hmm. Like, like the dad. Dad was a good actor. Oh, yeah. Oscar that- Isaac. I want to see him in more things. I think he, he's supposed to be Moon Knight. That's his next thing. I was just talking to Ron yeah. about if they would make a Moon Knight character. I just saw uh, a clip from a comic strip, and I was like, mm-hmm. there's no way you can make this person. But I guess if yeah. you made Punisher, you can make anybody. Yeah, it's going to be on uh, on Disney+. Plus. What's your knowledge of Moon Knight? None. Oh, I only heard time. about him. Like, I, I heard that Oscar Isaac was going to be Moon Knight, and I got excited because I liked him as Poe in, uh, in the Star Wars yeah. series. And then my only idea of Moon Knight came from when I told you, hey, did you know Oscar Isaac was in? This was ages ago. <laughs> I was like, you know, Oscar Isaac's going to be Moon Knight. And you were like, what? <laughs> but this was like, like a, a few years ago. ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, but I'm, I'm interested to see what they do with him because that's a fun character to play with. Mm-hmm. A superhero that has schizophrenia. Is that what his storyline is? Well, that is awesome. it's it's a whole thing. <laughs> uh, There's different variations, but the gist of it, like a lot of his background is like, he has multiple personalities. Or so like, there was one run where he thought he was Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Captain America at the same time. <laughs> and he would have like councils with the three of them, like having a conversation with the three of them, but it's just him. Uh, and he would adapt characters like skills. Like, like their skills. Yeah, but he's... Because he, he doesn't, like, it changes here and there, but he doesn't mm-hmm. really, he's like Batman for real. Mm-hmm. He's just a rich dude with moon-shaped stuff. Oh, gotcha. But gotcha. sometimes he does have mystic, because mystic dream powers a little bit. Because hmm. he... Part he, of the schizophrenia? Yeah, Maybe but nobody, so, but, no, but <laughs> nobody knows. So the gist of it is like, 
he goes into an old tomb or something, and he finds this artifact <clears throat> of this moon god, and then it kind of Joker esque, and he goes like he got I think he got like shot or something. Mm -hmm. He comes back, and sometimes it says he has powers. Like moon power. Sometimes it's just a dude that can beat you up real good. Uh, gotcha, but he's gotcha. a fun character, though. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to watch yeah, that. for sure. I've been really excited to see a lot of these things being adapted on screen. Because um, as far as the MCU goes, like, th there were a lot of things about Marvel that I was, like, really into. But there were also a lot of characters that I didn't know too much about. Yeah, yeah. So, like, That's seeing kind of the them... Part, though. Yeah, so it was, like, seeing them being brought to life and then going back to some of those mediums to, like, see more about them. Like, when I heard that Chris Evans may be returning as Captain America, but the alternate evil one that was, like, brainwashed by Hydra. Mm -hmm. and it was I think just, it's, like, like, a Patriot or something like that. No, no, Patriot, no, that's, uh, Patriot was the other dude. Yeah. But it was just, like, he was an alternate Captain America okay. from a different universe. So it's just, like... There's a lot of things that they can bring in now that the multiverse is like becoming a thing. But yeah, they can as, play with a lot. I'm wondering. I'll okay, finish the same with that. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, um, looking at the things and the movie medium gives me like more of an inclination to go back and experience it in the medium that it came originally. From. Yeah. Yeah. So like Dune, it was just like I wanted to go back to Dune to um, like read the book yeah. and actually like get a sense of. Maybe I missed some things here. Maybe they didn't like show some things here. So I wanted to like go back through it and uh, actually finish it this time. Okay, so I want to try the audio book because I feel like some of the names I'm gonna butcher in my head. Yeah. So I like I want to hear how it's said correctly. And, uh, and that's what I got. I got the it all audio depends book on audio. Yeah. Uh, it depends on audio books because sometimes you get a good speaker mm -hmm. and sometimes you get. And then... Yeah, yeah. I like the ones where they, on. like, try and then they act it out. I guess That's why I like cool. uh, Sandman. It's, this is another comic. Mm -hmm. um, it was... It just got an audiobook adaption. And the actual Arthur is reading it. But... And it's like an experience. It's a fun time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I think they're going to make a show for it, too. Really? Yeah. Oh. Sandman's... It's going to be a trippy show if they make it. I wanna, I'm curious if they do it. What's that? Is that the DC? DC it is fish? DC Vertigo. I feel like... like yeah, let's just... Yeah, it's DC. I think that there was... I could be wrong. No, that's the Swamp. The Swamp, swamp Man. The yeah, Swamp Thing, yeah, swamp. yeah. They I made a show for that one, they? Huh? They made a show for they that They made a show for that one. It came out, right? It was on the DC Universe app. You remember mm. DC? That's where Titans first came out? And then they died. And then now all of the shows that were success like moved Max over to HBO Max. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's why we got... Um, I was so upset about that DC <laughs> app. I was trying to watch... Young Justice, and they came up with a stupid little app. Yeah, I know. I, I pirated it all. I, I remember I got the app when it first came out. And I was like, I'm going to watch Titans. I'm going to watch Young Justice. I'm going to watch some old Batman things because they had like all the. They had all static the on there too. too. They had static on there. And then it was like Poor after static. after like maybe five months, completely died. Yeah. <laughs> I know a guy that just thought that they also put that stuff on HBO Max, but they just got bought out. No, a, well, WB already owns, oh, yeah, like, yeah. WB owns HBO, owns DC. They already had it. This was just, like, a thing they were doing. That's yeah. it, yeah. HBO Max makes still way more sense. Wait, so it, what was Unless you're just trying to get two people's money. No, before HBO Max wasn't a thing. So it used to be, like, HBO Now. now. Or HBO you needed Go a HBO subscription. But that was in order to at use the now. very beginning. Yeah, but Towards then that's when HBO Go came out. Yeah, so yeah. HBO Go, you were able to get it without needing the subscription but then they had hbo now and hbo go a lot of people were very confused i was very confused. i was like what happened to my my subscription exactly so rebranded the whole thing hbo max the only thing yeah. that you have for straight way now. more yeah. <laughs> so that, that's kind of what what happened with that and then like around that time they canceled dc universe and then brought it all over so that's kind of yeah. like what hbo, HBO max has been so clutch Mm -hmm. It's been do it's I been, love it. That's streaming it's service to me. I mainly one of my like I rarely use Netflix. Mm -hmm. No, I still use Netflix. So a lot of my because a lot of the anime that I like, 
mm-hmm. or is getting put over there. But it's also there's some good ones getting put on, like Tokyo Revenger is on HBO Max. Oh, really? You should watch that. I'm going to check that one out. So you should watch it. It's a good time. We can watch it after this podcast. For sure. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're killing it. Yeah, I think they're doing a good job. But um, let's go back. That's where yeah, we're yeah, back. We, yeah, yeah, I know. We, we kind of veered <laughs> off here. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go back to these adaptations. Oh, but yeah, um, yeah. as far as Dune goes, I think it's safe to say we both love the movie. Well, it's, it's really yeah. good. I, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I want to know what happens yeah. in the second part. I got to see how these characters' stories end. Like, it was... It's, it's going to be a training watch. montage, the whole second movie. It's going to be a uh, Dune <laughs> Samurai or something, Dune Ninja. Part 3 is going to be cool as fuck, though. <laughs> Red. It's going to be super battles. awesome. Yeah. But as far as, like, movie adaptations go, they don't always end up the way you want. Mm-hmm. One that I was pleasantly surprised with was the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie. That's not what I thought you were going with. Yeah, okay. this is the one I wanted to start off with because when it first came out, a lot of people hated his face. They gave him human teeth, and it was weird. So weird. <laughs> I have no idea why they did that. Like it was when I, I saw it, I was like, what? what? Like I was still willing to watch it. I was like, I'm gonna watch it. It's Sonic. This is fine. Dog, but I looked, really believe it's like, so bad. <laughs> I really believe, like, my conspiracy theory brain is that they intentionally put an ugly one out so that everybody will be upset and, <laughs> like, raise a huff about it, and then they switch up. Because it happened, they was like, oh, you're mad? Let's change the whole thing. It happened so fast. <laughs> it did. I feel like what was happening was there were two groups of people in the studio. One wanted one look, and mm. the other wanted another look. And then... I remember that first group is. They gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah. If they, that's probably what happened. They probably all got fired. I wouldn't mind. Hell yeah. All right. We just got some pumpkins to carve. So that that happened. So there was a cut here. So we're, <laughs> we're, back, we're back in the motions. There are pumpkins sitting in front of me. Oh, and man. we're going to carve the shit out of those pumpkins. Man. But and back to... the guts. <laughs> Make a pie. I hate how the insides of pumpkins are called guts. Is that really what it's? At least that's. That's what, what I'm gonna call it. Yeah, yeah like yeah. it's like when you look at it, they look like entrails. That's like when you gross. take them out, it looks. Do you like, guys like do anything? Because I've never carved a pumpkin. What do you do with the inside? You just throw it away. You just throw it away. That's a waste of a whole creature. I don't like pumpkins. Um, this would roast the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We could roast the seeds. That's what I was round. going to say, though. I was going to say we roast the seeds sometimes, but we don't always we don't always finish them. But uh, uh, other than that, we just toss it out. I don't like pumpkin things. Okay, I respect yeah. it. I don't. I don't approve <laughs> yeah. that. I just thought maybe y'all, you know, recycled them or something. Give them to a dog or something. We can probably give them to somebody who likes to make like pumpkin pie or something. I know we're locked into the podcast universe, but. I have to break continuity for what's in that cup? It's so brown for my eyes. It's it's purple. It's purple. Also, you can't. I wanted to tell, but I couldn't tell. The, you don't <laughs> you don't make pumpkin things with these pumpkins. You need a different kind of pumpkin. Oh. These are just to your first steps. Is that? Oh, that's even worse. Well, <laughs> nobody eats them, so that's why we carve them I because see. nobody eats these. Ones. I see. That's why they're the ones that get carved. I thought this that, is a purple community. Oh, I thought that brown pumpkins the shades. were just those pumpkins and people go. made pumpkin pie. Hey, everybody. Uh, you're yeah. seeing real life stuff. Pumpkins. <laughs> smoothies. Unless you're listening and you're just listening. You're to hearing real life. real life events. This is Kim. Yeah. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> she want to say hi on camera? <laughs> you walk away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what were we saying? Adaptations. We were talking about Sonic. Sonic. Uh, we were talking about how um, it looks stupid. Sonic is it, awesome. It, it's a good movie. I trust you. I'm never gonna watch it. I'm gonna be honest. I'm I, never, I respect Jim Carrey. <laughs> no, I haven't, and I don't plan on seeing it because I've made up my mind. I, <laughs> I've, I've I my talked Garrick into seeing it, and he Garrick's still trying it. to get me to watch Paddington Bear. <laughs> I forgot about that. (laughs) But I was excited that somebody in our group has finally saw it because I've been trying to talk it up and then he enjoyed it. I was like, 
Nice. Five more to go. <laughs> Four. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it, you know. But I was, I was really excited to see what they did with the movie. Like, Jim Carrey, awesome as For Dr. Sure. Robotnik. It was a solo story that wasn't based on, like, any game. Yeah, they wasn't, did they do the rings thing? There were rings, but he wasn't, like, he had, like, a source of them. Like, he had a bunch of them. It's what he used to transport to different places because he was on the run. Okay. Yeah, so in his universe, there were people after him as a kid, and one of his guardians were like, hey, you got to escape from this place because they're going to want your power, and they'll like kill you to get it. So the rings, they would, if you think about a place, you throw it, and then it opens up a portal, you can run through to okay. another universe. So All it wasn't right. like what what was funny though, they did implement that when he got hit, he dropped the rings. Hilarious. He dropped the bag and then it made the ring sound. <laughs> it was yeah, like it was cool. Get it was a cool Easter egg. It only happened once. Okay. It's always only happened once. Yeah, it only time. happened once and they did a really good job of like like it it was subtle. And when I saw it when I was in the theater, I remember I was like, ah, it's the sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's toddler, bro. I am. But I, I respect it. I enjoyed it. I thought like, it was really good. I'm not good. It's just, it's, I'm not interested in it, but I respect it. If, if, especially if it met your expectations. It exceeded right. my expectations. Mind you, I, I went like, in with extremely low expectations. That part. But it's Because you being, liked the, the Ninja Turtle shit too, right? I liked it. I enjoyed it, but I know it's bad. But, okay. Like, I will watch Ninja Turtles, enjoy the crap out of that movie, and still say it's bad. I think Sonic is a good and movie. literal good movie. It okay. is a good movie. I, I think it. so. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's is a uh, Scott Pilgrim. I, the adaptation. Oh, I forgot about that so one. So good. Yeah, so I good. enjoyed that one too. I read the comics and the adaptation is neck and neck with the comics for me. Mm -hmm. Like I, I could watch that movie anywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that shit is fire. That's cool. Like, like music, I, I used the, to remember. Oh, oh, what were you no, I was saying the music, the the visuals, like the game reference and anime references, mm -hmm. it's all clean. But yeah, that's what I was going to say. It was just like, I remember uh, trying to watch it for so long and it was a movie that I missed out of the theaters and I would always like try to <clears throat> try to find a place to actually watch it. When I when I actually got to it, I was like, this is a gamer's movie. Like, yeah, everything about it. The it, anime references. It personified the, the early super attacks that they had. Like <laughs> he was going through a he had a literal RPG. light bar. At some point. Yeah, yeah, like it was an RPG. But that's the movie. I thought they did a great job. The guy, that. like the, the comic, was the first, like not the first, but like one of the main like American based comics that had a very m manga influenced style. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it, it was like a quintessential like early 2000s movie where yeah. all the weird white boy rock for lack of a better time for mm -hmm. me I, it's gotta be what's the rock that it is uh, alt uh, rock i guess alt, alt, yeah, like a, yeah. <laughs> a lot of punk yeah kick with me some punk in there yeah <laughs> all that in it the little bitty shirts <laughs> the little bitty shirts <laughs> anime you know, like, it's like it's like a lot of counter culture effort. it's good yeah they did a really good job with and uh, that that's one that I go back to periodically too. Speaking of like the Sonic, uh, outside of Sonic figures, what has there really been a good game to movie, uh, like an adaptation? I I'm trying to think of Resident Evil. The first one was good. I like the first Resident Evil. I enjoyed the rest of them, but it became more of I just like watching a hot female lead kill a ton of zombies like it was, it was just like, <laughs> like i, I just enjoy like, like the, yeah. the, the campiness of it all mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like um what's that shit called uh like saints row yeah where saints row after a while you were just like all right we're not on the tracks anymore we're exactly. we're in silly town and we're staying here especially with the uh, saints row three yeah. like yeah. that was a good one it was not as good as one like, i'm just saying <laughs> I Compared to what Saints Row started at, um, it's just so trippy to see where it landed. Saints Row started as like. Wait, is that the one with the uh, dubstep gun? Saints Row Three or yeah? The, yeah. They, like, they, right. they, there's a dubstep gun that shoots out heavy beats and so makes them dance. Yeah, and it makes them dance, and then their bodies explode. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, I love that game. It was it was really fun to play until Saints Row Four. Saints Row 4, they became too over the 
cop where it was like, I don't even want to play. And you start off as a superhero, like yeah. full power, right? Full power, and then you get thrown into a alternate dimension where it's like virtual, like it's kind of like the yeah. Matrix. Everybody's kind of imprisoned in, in this world, and you're kind of becoming like Neo where you're unlocking your ability to manipulate the, the Matrix. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's another one. I still watch a movie of Saints Row all day. I you watch a Saints Row movie? I watch a Saints Based Row Based on movie. one or three? Three. That's funny. Saints Row 1 is pretty much just like every like game. type of game yeah. movie. Yeah. Saints Row 3, picture your gang becoming the empire <laughs> of like the New universe. York. Yeah. <laughs> you, you own like your own multimedia conglomerate. <laughs> It was so <laughs> over the top. That, that intro yeah. was, it was, it was a great intro though. I'm not gonna lie, it's a great fucking The intro. perfect rags to riches story. I enjoy Steve. <laughs> I almost threw this to Rags to riches. Rags to the president <laughs> of the United States is hilarious. Of the universe, I think at some point. Because <laughs> uh, aliens started to get introduced yeah. too, right? <laughs> Out of here, man. I enjoyed that. But as far as like other video game movie adaptations, I don't- Remember Blood Rain? Oh, that movie was terrible. awful, yucky. Oh my god! Like, even like the graphics were bad. That's, <laughs> like, like it looked worse than the game, and I think the game was like a PS2 game. <laughs> yeah, it, it seemed like a straight. Remember sci-fi, like from the Sci-Fi Channel movies? Yeah, it looked like a straight to Sci-Fi movie. Like it felt like a knockoff exactly. of uh, Resident Evil. Uh huh. It was, and it was just like. Wait, was it supposed girl? to be like vampires? I don't think so. I it was think like, it was vampires. It was like a look like, like it was a girl who just looked or just like outside. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that I thought that was a terrible movie. And then you have things like, um, I think I talked about this before, uh, the Max Payne movie with Mark Wahlberg. I never saw it, but you have talked yeah, about that it. movie. Was bad. Jeez. It was so bad. I, I, it's I crazy that we it. haven't talked about your favorite book to yeah. movie adaptation, which one? Harry Potter. Oh yeah. Oh, that, I was actually about to. <laughs> I was about to talk about it earlier, and then I got I got distracted. That's but Harry Potter is one of my favorite book to movie adaptations from one to. But there were there were some problems that they had. Like when you remember when I was talking about how um, when you miss a certain part that people really gravitated to. Yeah. There were parts of Harry Potter where they just skipped a whole thing. And then I'm sitting in the theater like, like what? Why, <laughs> why didn't this happen? <laughs> what they skip? Because I've only seen the movies. There was one part on book six. Book six is my favorite Harry Potter book. It was one of the darkest ones. What's it called? Uh, the Half Blood Prince. Okay. And um, they dwell deep into sort of the history of Voldemort, and then some aspects of Snape, like the guy who you thought was like evil the entire yeah. time. Turns out he was protecting everybody the entire time. And it was just like, the, there, were, there, switch, there were eh? several parts of those flashbacks that they just completely skipped. And they were just like some of the darkest parts. And I was looking at it, it was like, I had to sell it to kids. Yeah, yeah. And it was just like, as I was watching it, I, I was hoping to see like all of those parts and it didn't really come through the way that I wanted to. And then it was like one, the battle and, uh, it was like book three, the prisoner of Azkaban, and he's uh, trying to uh, save his godfather from uh, Azkaban. <laughs> and then there, there was a fight inside of the like the Ministry so they of Magic or something. It, they didn't skip over it. It just didn't flesh out the way that like it was described in the book to me. Like as I was reading the book, it felt like things should have happened like a little bit different. It had more texture to it. It was just it. like looking at a lot of those visuals didn't really like turn out the way that I wanted it to. Right. That's yeah. how I felt about uh, Hunger Games. Oh, that yeah. was another one that I enjoyed. There was a whole part yeah. of it that I was like, I want to see this made into a thing, like the realization of what it is. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the part with the dogs. Oh yeah. I was like, what is that? Do you That's see? the coolest part. Exactly. <laughs> there was a part I, I like I like the Hunger Games movies, and I saw the movies before I read the books. So I read the books after, and then as I was reading them, I was like, 
There was no way I would know that those dogs were supposed to be the former champions. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I read the books literally like the month before the each movie came out. Because yeah. I was like, the concept seemed cool. Mm-hmm. I'm like, let me try it out for the first the first movie at least. I burned through it and I was like, oh, this is really good. Yeah. All right, let me keep going. Boom. boom. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it, that, like, there was a few parts, but I get it. You're trying to sell it to a younger demographic. True. But on the same token, fuck you kids, man. Exactly. I want to see good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> kids like, know what stuff is good. They can uh, see stuff. Exactly. Yeah, it's not baby like, it's baby. I feel like they, like, they, they are trying, like you said, just babying them and not really expecting them to be able to like feel like gravity but you know what it really is it's not them babying them it's babying the parents that's true a lot of parents have become more complaining over the years and then no 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 no, we're not gonna the parents are complaining since the dawn of time since the dawn of time but but also they were wild sensitive i feel like parents are more sensitive now no like i i I think about some of the things that i back in the day in like the 50s and uh, 60s and stuff they you showed like, more than like an ankle on TV. That's true. They wanted that whole station burnt out. I didn't, I didn't think about that either. Yeah, it's, it, it goes in waves. Like, like when we were kids. From 90s Eight, to now. Late 80s, 90s. <laughs> yeah. That little band of late 80s, 90s, early 2000s. Mm-hmm. Where it was like, just put it on TV. Who cares? We had some weird stuff on TV. That, like Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. That just beats a butthead. And well. Now, like I used to watch King of the Hill. Like, oh, yeah, no. like all the time and then i had it like on on tv and then it was just cotton uh you know hank hill's yeah. dad just like shitting on women like he's not like what? literal shit but like he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I like, like that. my brain didn't even go there I was that's like, funny just, just like for people who are in audio or like don't know the yeah. term not literal but <laughs> <laughs> but he's just that like literal, he's like crazy. talking trash about them, saying like you're you're supposed to be in the kitchen, yeah. but not. No, 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 but he was a satire. He was supposed to. Be he was like, supposed, but you, you can't do context. that anymore. Context <laughs> is gone. All they hear is the raw word. Yeah, like yeah. it's nuts. It's so like my kids gonna think about this all the time now as they think about it, if they watch this show. Rock and roll used to be this. racy, well, but not even like the cool oh, rock and roll where you like yeah. you would burn stuff and yeah. just like. Uh, Chuck Berry whining his hips. He's like, no, uh-uh, this is going <laughs> to ruin America. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. And it's like, I, I think that as things have sort of become like more modernized, as a result, they've sort of taken, a lot, taken out a lot of the risks they used to take. Like, right. I feel like they used to just like push more boundaries for now sure. they're they're sort of like kind of a recluse. Yeah, they're but they're making goes sure away that they're points. You get you get the really popping bubble gummy stuff, mm-hmm. stuff that's used to like hit all demographics, mm-hmm. and then one good weird show breaks through by accident most of the time. It's kind of like uh, and it's a Adventure hit. Time. Yeah, yeah, like exactly like mm-hmm. fucking Adventure Time. <laughs> and a lot of those shows are like shows that they're like ah, just do something. Just do, just, we, you got reins, we're not gonna pay, just do whatever you do in the little corner. Like, uh, the guys who do Adult Swim, mm-hmm. they got, like, they were in a little corner of the room, and it was like, you got the rights to a bunch of Hanna-Barbera cartoons and shit. <laughs> do what, what you will with it. Yeah. And they made, like, a full platform. They start putting weird underground hip-hop on there. Like, <laughs> it, 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 it was a niche thing that blew up, but it's because it was left to just be. It's mm-hmm. own thing. Sometimes you gotta just let things be, but they kind of fit their own, like made their own yeah. space, and they satisfied a need that wasn't really exactly. Like, being there's to. specific niche demographics that are just under service all around for everybody, mm-hmm. and so whenever that demographic gets their little spring, like the Game of Thrones fucking nerds, like which I am, yeah. but like anybody that was like, I like the fantasy stuff, but I like stuff with a little bit more edge to it, mm-hmm. and then it, it was like one crept through. And it was a hit, and then it becomes a big thing, and then now we got a hundred Game of Thrones esque clones. Like, it's yeah, just I think they're works. making like four different spinoffs or something off of Game of Thrones. They're having one. The first one is like the dragons, like the people in the past who the Barath- like, brought the not dragons. the Baratheons, the uh, Targaryen, uh, Targaryen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's just about them. So I, I feel like it just leads into 
the first yeah. season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did they do Yamcha like that? Forget how this podcast is going. He was such a good character, and then they just demoted him to like kid watcher. Like yeah, his pretty much. The kids are good. It was like he was a badass baseball player. He could like fight against Goku toe to toe, and now he's the meme. He's the guy well, who's like in the ditch. He, he was <laughs> Wolf Fangfuss put people in the dirt, and then. Aliens showed up and it was like, get that wolf fake fish shit out of here, bro. What are you talking about? It's not fair. Y'all thought was dope. He had long hair. I like I used to think he was a Saiyan. I used to think every character in Dragon Ball Z with long black hair. Yeah. Like Yamcha is definitely a Saiyan. Yeah, he's gonna so get that... Super Saiyan. <laughs> and then to add Ice to the cake, Vegeta took his girl. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, but they had music go out and then all of a sudden, she's pregnant by Vegeta later, years later. That is the funniest thing. So an alien came down here. Beat everybody up. Beat them up. And then took his girlfriend. <laughs> Man, we need, we need a, 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 like a revenge arc for Yabcha. <laughs> he needs to come back and like, I don't know, what's the Earth version of Like Maybe he gets like... Uh, what's it called? Uh, K.O. Kid or something. We need to give him something. He gets a K.O. Kid times 100. Something. <laughs> Bring Yamshot back. I'm protesting. He can get like Ultra Instinct. New Dragon Ball is Super. Like humans are capable of okay, doing Ultra? more. Yeah. Okay. But like. Because Curlin, didn't he box Goku? He boxed Goku while he was like in God form. But he fought smart. Like the thing that they were doing was just like. He had an energy wave building up underground. Like, he had, like, ultimate key control. So when Goku didn't really know what was happening, he was, like, running at him. Key blasts just started rising from the ground because Krillin could always control Yeah, it. yeah. he was <laughs> real ill at key. I don't know, man. It's just not fair. Piccolo used to be dope. He was, like, the, the biggest devil ever. Now he's also just a kid watcher. Yeah. That he has heavy hats. Gohan. All the yeah, time. His whole job is to be a babysitter for an absentee father. <laughs> it is not fair. He was dope. His arm stretched. Oh. He could rip his arm off and get a new one. He could split. Like, he had the first shadow clones. Like, he could split versions of himself into new entities. He was literally the devil. And then he was like, wear this hat. Put these shoulder blades on and watch my kid. <laughs> I gotta go beat up other aliens. There were always parts where he got like a random power boost. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, to like keep up with everybody. He even shot up Cell and then Cell was like, but I'm gonna take that from you. Yeah. And then he, he had like, somebody else. Yeah. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm not watching Super because I got, I'm, I'm big on once a series has its length, let it run. Mm. But I do appreciate that. At least they aren't they doing a little bit to get other characters back into like. The... Yeah, they did that recently with the. Uh, well, not recently. It's been a while now, but like the, it was like a universal tournament thing where they were fighting the to fight. Yeah, where they were fighting to save their universe. Oh, stupid storyline because it was started by Goku, the savior of our oh, world. Yeah, and then he's like, "Hey, how about a tournament when?" <laughs> We, we, we fight to compete for our universe survival. And then the god was like, just yeah, wildly irresponsible. Great idea. <laughs> our fate our fate of our whole universe <laughs> is in the hands of a child. A, a grown much. child. Like a 30-year-old kid. Well, how old is Goku? Like, Goku's like 40-something, but a Saiyan's age slowly. Yeah. It was a funny uh, part of Dragon Ball Z. He aged fast and slow. Because yeah. remember the, the time scale, it was two years between this Goku uh, and this Goku. And then the tall one. They they reach like maturity quick and then after that they, they just, just like, slow down. Yeah, but there was a funny thing where it was like Goku was grossed out about the idea of kissing. Yes, and then Vegeta was like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you have kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was post his kids? <laughs> yeah. Which makes me think, I'm be honest with you, that Chi Chi took advantage of him. Probably. Because he just seemed like he's just like, huh, what do I do? Like, what's going on? That's what I was thinking. Like, it was that. Because she was chasing him. <laughs> she was chasing him since there was kids. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he just has a he son just has his kid. that he doesn't watch. He and beats he, up for some time though. Maybe that was the case. Maybe that was the joke. Chi Chi just molested Like, him. just raped him. <laughs> Chi Chi molested him and nobody says anything. I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. It's not fair. 
Oh man, I love, right. I love Dragon Ball. Z. Yeah, I do. I hate that movie. That was the worst. Oh, back to movie about, adaptation. That I've ever shit seen in my was dog life. shit. Bro. <laughs> it was awful. <coughs> like what? when he gave a Kamehameha to save somebody's life, I walked out. Oh, like, like I didn't. I didn't oh, like it was. Like, I gave him power. Like, like it, he it, it, resurrected. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I watched that movie on a plane. <laughs> so I had to watch. Like I was like, no, I'm gonna sleep for the rest of you. Gotta make me <laughs> watch this. Bo- Remember the uh, was so the what was it Chi Chi uh, movie? No, no, no it was, was it, a, what? <laughs> not Chi Chi movie. Uh, Street Fighter character Chung Lee. Oh, the Chung Lee. What's her name from a uh, Smallville? Was in it. Yeah, I watched it mainly because she was in it. Dog. <laughs> the guy who played Vega was the dude from Black Eyed Peas, and he had a he has the Vega mask, but because they <gasps> apparently don't know how to make masks cool. It's a giant mask from like to his chest. So like he has a neck. It's just a big head to a body. That's dumb. I gotta watch these movies again. No, you don't. I, it's so bad. Sometimes I like to watch bad movies. Low as the key. It like, is fun. Just to like make fun that of it. Or laugh, so you know? Upset, <laughs> it's so bad. Again, one of those movies that remember what like you'd be up at like one or Two in the morning, and it's HBO or something, and a random movie comes on. Yeah, like I guess I'll watch it. As I watch it, I'm like, yes, all right. <laughs> Halfway through, I was like, I regret this, but I have to see how it is. It was a terrible choice. Now, when you get invested, that's the I saddest part it. because it's like, are you gonna leave this hole of unknowing in your brain? But then when you get to the end, you're like, I wish I left it because it didn't feel anything in my body. I'm so sad. It's very bittersweet. Um, <laughs> But there is a new movie coming out soon. I think around February that I am excited for. Uh, it's the Uncharted movie. So this movie has been in the making since around, I think Uncharted 2 came out. This yeah, movie has been in the ago. making for like almost a decade or more. That's a long time. It has gone through different writers, directors, and actors. And then finally, they settled on Tom Holland as Nathan Drake. And Mark Wahlberg. Which one is Tom Holland again? Spider Man. Current Spider Man. It's going to be a younger Nathan Drake. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't agree (laughs) already. I'm upset. (laughs) What is that? It's going to be. It's going to be a younger, less experienced Nathan Drake. Mark Wahlberg is actually what looks like the age of the Nathan Drake in the uh, the and the face (laughs) and the way he talks. So he's going to be Sully. And they're changing the storyline a little bit because if I remember correctly, in Uncharted 3, Nathan met Sully when he was a kid. And this one, it looks like they don't meet until he's like, oh, grown up. Maybe 20s, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't be too outraged about it because I've never played like through any of the- You never played any of them? Not a single oh, one. Oh my God. Because by the time I had, like as a kid, like by the time I had money to buy a game, mm-hmm. like two or three came out. And mm-hmm. I wasn't that interested to begin with. So I, I was see. like... You liked it, a lot of multiplayer games. Too, yeah, yeah. And I was multiplayer game and I, and I liked a lot of like non-real... Even though it's not realistic, but mm-hmm. it's like non-realistic games. It was more my flavor. So Yeah, yeah. And it reminded me too much of uh, Tomb Raider and I wasn't a big fan of Tomb Raider like that. It was pretty much a male Tomb Raider. Yeah. It was Indiana Jones. Exactly yeah, what it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, yeah, but even still. Like, cause I don't, aren't they making a, a Last of Us movie too? It's going to be an HBO show. HBO show? Okay. Yeah. That one's is, going is to be following like, them? Yeah. It's going to be following, uh, uh, what's his name? Joel, Joel. and um, Ellie. I got to finish that, yeah. that last one. I still you still haven't it. finished? <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to beat it. But I, I, like, literally, I say I'm going to beat it. I, I'll be on like PlayStation with y'all. And I put it down, the headset, and then I just go, oh, food. And I just forget. I have a brought it up. <laughs> I am, I'm about to like play it again. Like it's been long enough that I because like, it's been almost like three it. years, right? Like if not already, at least two and a half. <laughs> I'm, and you know what's crazy? I'm at the. End. I know I'm like towards the end. What was the last place you were at? Do you remember? Uh, the, the, like you know the part where you're playing as the other person. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Who still hasn't beat the game? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but the plan as the other person, and uh, you're at the gas station. And they're like folding in on you. The enemy's folding in on you. Oh, you are close. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> but I just be like, wasn't it jarring to see that there was like a whole other half of game? Like as you, I was low key like, upset. I was like, <laughs> I got more game. I was like, because the game the is so part, intense that it, it makes is. me tense.
tense up. It makes you so tense. And you're going through at least 13 hours of that. And then that was like a back half Before of the another 13 hours. I was scared, man. <laughs> That was a but much it's a fun game. It's it so fun. It's just super heavy. Huh. It's really heavy. I'm mad that they took the multiplayer out of there. I really want the multiplayer. There's supposed to be news within the next few weeks. Ooh, inside of trade too. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> there's supposed to be news though, and they are going to announce something. Like there's a whole Naughty Dog thing that's happening. They're supposed to be announcing something in the next few weeks. We don't know what it is. Ooh. I think it's going to be the multiplayer. It's going to be Watchdog again. A new Ubisoft. 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 That's Ubisoft. a different company. It's That's all. Ubisoft. <laughs> I just sold. I own in there. Oh man! But I'm really excited for um, the entire movie. I'm excited to see that uh, uh, Last of Us show. And you got to finish that game. I'm gonna finish it. It's before, be, definitely before the show comes out. Yeah. The ending, like when you see it, it is. It is a good ending. It just takes some takes some work to get there. You're almost yeah. there. I, I got a muscle you, you just have to go through so some mentally yeah. you know, like, Ugh. you're gonna be depressed like strongly depressed <laughs> getting to that point but it's good it's good I enjoy wait it wait a minute I might be further than that cause wait is the part when you're like in the aquarium and all that shit is that before or after that when you have to go like to the aquarium I think that's after that so I am, I think I'm even closer to the yeah, end closer of that than where you are. <laughs> and I was just like, well, that's the game for yeah. me. I'm going to finish it. <laughs> yeah, I, made the, there. I, I made the group chat like, did y'all know? That's <laughs> what's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited to see it. Like, I'm, I'm interested to see what they do, especially in the TV format where it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's fleshed out. You can spread it. Yeah, I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm growing. But, yeah. Oh man, that was going to be childish myself right there. And yeah, I stopped, stopped myself though. I stopped. Bang, bang. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be cool to see them actually adapt it in a way that makes sense, like hour by hour. In For sure. Like one hour and a half. Trying to force all the concepts into one place. Yeah, yeah. So excited to see what, what comes out of that. But as far as like this uh, video game to movie adaptation, I'm excited. Sure. I have my um, uh, concerns. I don't think it's going to be as good as I want it to be. But yeah. I think it's going to be enjoyable because it's just Indiana Jones. All you got to do is copy Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Make it play for play. Get a big rock. Like fun. Yeah. <laughs> like like the, the, the format's there. there. There are plenty of Tomb Raider movies. You got a ton of source material from this game. It's hard to do this wrong, I feel like. I think that there's going to be a way to do it. But that's it for today. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for joining us on these rants we've had about things that we love. <laughs> We're all over the place, but we yeah. had a lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting to see some of these things coming up. And um, just going to be great to, like, experience a lot of these, a lot of these sure. movies. That Next time out. we're talking about the Wu-Tang Clan TV show. I'll tell you about it later. Is there a new season? Yeah. Ooh. It's, oh, it's I'll watch it. Hysterical. I'll watch it. We'll make that our next thing. Yeah. I'm <laughs> down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll binge the I wasn't sure if that fit the, the dynamics really of this dark, part. Right? Yeah, <laughs> man, I'm great. Wu-Tang Clan brings the darkness to this place. Right? <laughs> but all right, let's sign up. <laughs> yeah, thanks again for joining us. Remember to stay tuned to all the new pieces of content that comes out. You can follow us at Otley Entertainment on YouTube. At Oddly Sean on Instagram, and you can find the oddcast on all your favorite podcasting services. Awesome. And remember, stay odd and have a good day. Peace out. Did you take my charger? <laughs> yes. <laughs>